test the water first on her own nose. So we have distilled water with saline in it, and we heated it up in the microwave for just 20 seconds to make sure it's just lukewarm water. That's disgusting. And we always test out, this test is, out the water. <laughs> Worked really well. Mm -hmm. Ella, it's time to do your nose, and she's been a trooper. She knows that it makes her feel better. Huh. You ready? Gotta keep the baby's mouth open. I know. Right. One, two, three, be brave. One, two, three. Yeah. There we go. Ooh. Gotta make sure it's in the oh. head. Yeah. We gotta make sure we show what, what gunk comes out. Oh my really gross, huh? Oh. Sometimes it's helpful to have the water running. Can we do it again? again. You're doing so good. You're doing so good. Mm -hmm. I need her head out a little bit further from your arm. One, two, three. Look at all that stuff coming out. Yeah, I know. Scoop back that a little bit. Here we go. You're doing so good. Again, here it goes. Okay. One more time. Mouth open. I know. One, two, three. Yeah, good job. Okay, keep drain her, drain her. You gotta turn her head a certain way. Okay, all done on that side. Good job, honey. You're so brave. Okay, we gotta do the other side, other side. Have your mouth. Hi, honey. One, two, three. I know. One, two, three. Yeah, look at all that. Who's that baby? Who's that baby? It comes out the other as long as we keep our mouth open. Yay! Do you want some honey? <gasps> honey. We do dark amber organic honey. 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 Can you say honey? Yay, all done. You want some honey? Mmm. So you just saw the demonstration of me giving my baby a saline nose rinse. And I just want to give you uh, 10 tips on how to do it because I looked up all these videos and there were all these moms doing it and they were horrifying because there was no um, instructions with them and I was thinking about how horrible it would be if somebody else watched that video and they just did it to their baby um, using whatever kind of water and whatever kind of tools and um, made me really nervous so here's 10 tips um, number one do not use tap water um, never use tap water it will burn your baby's nose it isn't safe and there's this crazy story about a woman getting an amoeba up her nose for using tap water with a neti pot, and it's just not okay. Okay, so that's number one. Number two, um, so what you do use is a glass or a cup of distilled water. And I have some distilled water right here. Um, and I just add a little bit of saline to it, just like you do for like a neti pot. Um, this one is called Sinew Cleanse, natural um, saline solution and I got a packet of those like a hundred count of those or whatever on Amazon pretty easy um, Then you use a syringe um, that has maybe if you can find one that works with a soft tip that might be great or um, I just like this one because it has a short tip and I don't even put it in her nose I just put it right next to her nose right there and then it has enough power that I just can kind of squirt the water in and I do about um, let me see about like this is this is an ounce and I, I always do like a little bit less than that maybe three-fourths of an ounce um, when I do it in her nose lukewarm water the temperature of the water is really important um, you don't want to um, like shock your baby's senses or yourself if you're doing it for yourself um, so you definitely want lukewarm water um, so then furthermore test it on yourself first and you saw me do that, it's totally gross, but test it on yourself. Make sure the saline solution isn't too strong or too weak. Um, if it's just normal without saline, it doesn't feel good. Um, and so the saline is really important. Um, baby's head has to be turned slightly. So you make sure that the nostril that's draining is on the bottom side. So if you're going in this side, you wanna turn, turn the baby's head slightly. And the other thing is the mouth has to be open. So you have to kind of pinch your baby's cheeks and make them look like a little fish in order to do it correctly. Um, for little babies, you may be able to hold them um, and do everything yourself, but it may be helpful to have somebody else um, hold your baby. Kind of like a little burrito and wrapped in a blanket so she feels safe. 
um, and comfortable and her hands can stay down so that she's not pulling at anything. Um, it's also really important, number nine, um, we just have two more. Nine, it's really important to talk to your baby, make sure that they um, know what's going on. Um, the first couple of times it might be really difficult. My baby kind of screamed a couple of, first couple of times. She was like, what are you doing to me? And it was really sad. But then she connected really fast that um, it was actually a good thing and that she could breathe afterwards. And then she, after like, I think it was just the third time actually that we did it, that she was about like you saw in this video, just a little bit whiny, you know, oh, this isn't very fun, but I know that I need to do it. Um, lastly, number 10, reward your baby. Um, for her, um, associate, I, I like to associate it with something positive. So um, whatever you can do, um, in our case, it was honey and dark amber honey is really good for kind of coating the throat and making, um, making it so your baby doesn't cough so much. But don't give honey to babies under 12 months because that's a rule. Um, they can get really sick. So definitely not honey for everybody. Let's Four more tips for sick babies. These are just bonus tips. Um, I can only give my baby Tylenol if it's in applesauce. So I, I um, mix it up in applesauce, about like this much applesauce, and then I mix it up with the appropriate Tylenol dose. Um, elevate the mattress just a little bit by putting like a blanket underneath her crib mattress just a little bit. Um, at her age, it's fine. Um, other babies, I know there's like all kinds of rules and things. I'm disclaimers. I'm not advocating you to break any rules for babies. But um, when your baby's big enough to move around on their own, I think it's perfectly safe and good for them, in my humble mommy opinion, to elevate their mattress a tiny bit. Um, last bonus tip, humidifier. You already know this. Vicks Vapor Rub. Um, make sure it's low enough on their chest so that they can't like scratch their chest and get it in their eye or anything, but Vicks Vapor Rub can really help open up your baby's um, airways when they're sleeping at night too. I hope your babies get better soon and happy trying this out and I hope it was helpful and have a wonderful day. Mm -hmm.